All right. First of all, I'm going to ask you all to bear with me because I got a cold right now, so I'm not sounding 100%. I'm a, I'm a little under the weather. I've been taking a lot of naps and stuff, just trying to get over this, but I think I'll be all right. Uh, second of all, Red Sox up 2 nothing in the series. Obviously, tomorrow is pretty much D-Day. If the Red Sox win, it's probably going to be a sweep. <laughs> if the Rockies win, it's, you know... Could, anything could happen from there, so definitely going to be watching that along with some college football. And um, I got some picks to make, so let's get down to it. This is a this first game. This is one I'm going to get to watch. Looks like I get coverage of it up here. The Giants and the Dolphins played in London. <laughs> I personally don't like the whole concept of playing games outside of the U.S. Since oh I don't know, it's just a long flight and a lot of jet lag and. It can really affect game performances, but whatever. I'm going to pick the Giants. I think four aces is, is going to put Cleo Lemon uh, where he belongs. Um, and then after that, we got Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. This is a tough game for me to pick because this is a rivalry game, and both these teams hate each other. But I'm going to take Pittsburgh. I think that the better team. Last week, we saw them lose because of poor coaching decisions, in my opinion. I don't think that's going to happen again, so they're going to run all over Cincinnati, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> I'm taking Tennessee over Oakland. Vince Young's going to play, so that offense should be able to move the ball pretty well, and they should get back the red zone efficiency they lost last week. And, um, you know, Oakland is Oakland. What else can you say? And for the Bears and Lions, this was tough, but I'm going to take the Bears... They're at home. They got some players back from injury like Vasher and Tillman and Briggs. And I'm sure they're still embarrassed from what happened the last time they played the Lions, so I'm going to take in the Bears. I hate this next one. <coughs> Philly and Minnesota. Uh, I have a hard time picking this one, but I guess I'll go with Philadelphia. Um, I don't know. I mean, neither of these teams are all that good. Neither of these teams are playing that well. I think they're better than their record indicates. But both teams are just really underachieving right now. And I kind of flipped a coin on this. I'll take Philly. <coughs> um, I'm taking Indianapolis over Carolina. Carolina starting Vinny Testaverde. I think that's a good move for them because I think at this point he's better than Carr. I haven't been impressed with Carr so far, but... I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. I'm going to watch this game as well. Hopefully I'll watch Peyton Manning break the franchise touchdown record. He needs two. So yeah. Taking Cleveland over St. Louis. I think Cleveland finally gets a win on the road. And uh, also, Derek Anderson needs to prove that he can compete with Brady Quinn for the long-term starting job in Cleveland. And that starts with having big performances week in and week out, like in this game against the porous Rams defense. I'm taking Tampa Bay over Jacksonville. Uh, you know, Jacksonville's, an, they don't have their David Garrard. I don't trust Quinn Gray. Um, I think Garcia continues to play conservative football, you know. He still hasn't thrown an interception, and I think he's going to stick to that, so I'm taking Tampa at home. Next one, both these teams are pretty awful. The Jets and the Bills, so I had a hard time picking because I hate picking games where both teams are awful, but I'm going to go with the Jets, just a gut feeling I have. And they're at home, starting to run the ball a little better, so I think it's going to be the Jets. I got the Chargers over the Texans. It's being played in San Diego after all, so that's good for San Diego. Uh, I think they're a much better team than Houston at this point. Houston's on a slide lately, and I think, you know, San Diego's going to do their thing. They could, they're I think they're a good enough team to potentially run the table as long as, you know, they start taking responsibility away from North Turner like they've been doing. I got New England over Washington. This I thought about this for a little bit. Washington's got a real good defense. They got a great secondary. They got a a lot of great secondary players and they got great linebackers London Fletcher, Marcus Washington, Rocky McIntosh but I think the team that is going to beat New England this year if that ever happens is going to be a team that can generate a lot of pressure without blitzing so 
a team with a really good front four on their defensive line. I don't think that team is Washington. If I look at their front four, I say Andre Carter's having a great year. He's rushing the passer real well, but beyond that, I don't think they're going to be able to generate much pressure on Bray, which is what you have to do. So I don't think, as good as Washington's defense might be, I don't think their defense is structured in such a way to the point where they can beat New England. And the Washington offense is awful, so I think it's New England, but it might be a... I'm, I would take Washington against the points. I got New Orleans over San Francisco, two t teams, you know, struggling. New Orleans is just getting back on track. 49ers are well off track. It's in San Francisco, but I think the Saints are getting a little hot now. 49ers have gone cold, so I'm going to take New Orleans. <laughs> um, that pass rush has been getting back on track the last couple weeks, so they should put Alex Smith on his back repeatedly. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that offense is looking pretty good the last couple weeks, so I think they'll get it done. Last game, uh, this was a really tough one. I had to think about this for a little while, but... I think I'm going to go with Green Bay. I don't want to buy into Denver after just, you know, one week. And, you know, their offense played well. Their defense did what they needed to do. I give them credit for that because I disregarded them after the San Diego game. But even though it is in Denver, and even though Green Bay can't run the ball, and Denver has the best pass defense in the league, <clears throat> I'm not sure I trust this Denver offense against a very good Green Bay defense. They really only had, they had one good game against the Steelers, which is impressive, but I think I'm going to sit with the Packers. Very tough choice, though. Uh, that's about it, so I'll see you guys after the games.